Hey, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. What up guys, this is Monkey Figure Reviews. Today's video is gonna be another figure news update video and we're gonna be talking about Figuras Zero. Uh, and I've been wanting to do this, uh, do a video on this series for quite a while. I just kept on delaying it. So I think I missed out on a few key ones like Katakuri, Snake Man Luffy and if I'm not wrong, that is there was also a Zoro figure that came out a couple of months back. So yeah, today's video is just gonna be on upcoming ones, as far as we know. And also after this video, I will do another one on the Mega House POPs because over that side, there's big, 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 big news. Uh, if you haven't heard, and also for the Ben Presto figures slash Bandai Spirit, whatever you call them nowadays. Okay, uh, and alright, so uh, what is coming up for Figura Zero? I'll just call them FZ for now. So, for FZ, what is coming up? Uh, we have this whole new set of the Straw Hat Pirates, the Straw Hat crew. And um, I believe, based on what you can see below, it's just like a commemoration of the animation 20th anniversary. So, what they did is that they, they come up with these figures that is kind of based on the volume 64 cover yeah I'm gonna show you here so this is th just kind of you know decided to do a whole set of the crew and I guess now Jinbei is sort of I th I hope you know <laughs> officially uh, as part of the crew they thought this would be a great idea I really th I really think that the main reason why they chose this was because Jinbei is there like it's just so simple uh, and and also this is actually quite a while back because it's volume 64 and this is the fish fishman island arc which is right after the post timescape seems like yesterday but i think it's really many years back first first thoughts was just that um i, I thought it's a bit lazy because most of the straw hat crew have already uh they already have their figures come out you know a long time ago uh, when the post time skip designs were out. So this is just basically them in higher quality figure, I hope, and different poses, and that's about it. So not a lot to actually even play around with if you look at them later. Um, and to me, it would be much more interesting if they just start coming out with Wano figures, um, Wano characters and designs in conjunction with, you know, now, since because now we are going into the anime, the uh, into Wano arc and for for the manga we are still there it would definitely be much more appealing uh, it is interesting that they tried to do this cover but I am pretty sure in real life when you line up the figures they are not going to look as perfect as this so I don't really see the point uh, if, most likely what you're going to do is that you're just gonna line them up side by side and it just spoils the whole purpose of trying to replicate the cover I hope I hope that I'm wrong, but I really, really don't think so. Different heights, unless you put it on pedestals or something. Not sure how you're gonna do it. Okay, so anyway, let's just take a look at at what is gonna be coming out. Um, this is Luffy. From what I got on my figurecollection.net, it was I think it's already released on the twentieth of July. I'm not too sure about that. Uh, but here you can see him. So just kind of like Luffy, just crossing his arms, like just like in the cover, looking straight. His face is pretty well done. But other than that, if you look at it, not a lot to really talk about. Yeah, nothing really stands out from this figure. This is the back view. So quality-wise, I guess it's kind of expected to have this kind of quality. And I don't think that Figura Zero are having issues less Ben Presto or whatever because usually they sort of match what they show in the prototypes. Okay, and this is Zoro. We can see him just basically using all of his swords, looking pretty ripped with his muscles. Some shading across um, what he's wearing. Nice creases throughout. Looks pretty neat uh, in a fighting stance. And here we have Nami with her with her climb attack weapon. Is this still called a climb attack? Yeah, so just different angles. And like I said, I don't think 
you can play around a lot with these figures it's just most of them in a fixed post so basically you get what you see looks pretty alright to me but I'm getting tired of this kind of post time skip design it's it's uh, one I, that's why I'm so excited for, for Wano arc because they have new outfits and they all look so cool okay uh, this is Usopp my man Sogi King got Usopp some nice shading right below back view looking really shiny hair looks pretty detailed Usually, when they are doing Usopp's hair, they usually don't like uh, cut corners. Another view, another angle. And this is him wearing his goggles. Okay, so that's one part you can play with. And um, apparently, when I look at my figurecollection.net, he actually comes with extra expression face parts for Luffy. So, you get a small one for Luffy if you buy this Usopp. And also a small one for Nami. You know, to me, it's kind of weird, and it's just another piece of evidence that it's just cash grab in a sense, because they really want you to buy the whole set. These faces could easily come uh, with the original characters, like Luffy's extra face could just come with Luffy's main, main figure, but they chose to put the faces in Usopp's uh, box, which to me is just really crazy and no reason why why they should why they should do this at all other than they just want you to buy all the figures really nonsensical to me uh and yeah even though we saw just now chopper in his horn point form they are actually going to release his brain points or whatever form you call this of him so not sure why why is it again but here he here he is it looks pretty similar to what we saw of him previously yeah, and really nothing much to talk about. Yeah, and all these four figures, Zoro, Nami, Usopp, Chopper, they are supposed to be released in August. And, um, okay, here we have the Horn Point. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Th this time around, with him in the Horn Point, we can see the fur. His big ass horns. Really nice, and this is like spikes or whatever at the back. If you guys have watched my POP review on on um, this version of him, his details are insane, and one of the best I ever seen in POPs. <laughs> but off topic, uh, this is how he looks like. So okay, so this guy uh, comes with this open mouth face for the little chopper. You have to get this horn point for this extra face. Take note of that if you really, really want to get this whole set. Uh, just what are they thinking? Here we have Sanji. Not sure how they are going to stand though because this is a pretty interesting pose to support. Different angle. I think now that we see him in the whole Cake Island arc with the different outfit, this outfit just looks kind of boring now and I've complained a lot of times Sanji always gets this outfit okay so uh so so Sanji and the Hon Point Chopper will be coming out in September and next we have Jinbei he actually looks like the best out of um okay maybe the best or second best we'll get to that later out of this uh 10, 10 right, 10 characters from the Straw Hat crew looks pretty amazing with you can, you can see the creases that they've given him uh, along his his ropes, his outfit his cape or whatever really really good uh, face is pretty well done too I like the, I like the stance, you can see him using his, his uh, fishman karate or something so you can see these bubbles coming out nice details to be honest and of course I'm biased because I guess we don't have a lot of Jinbei figures really nice creases and shading across his coat really really beautiful um, I think if you just gonna ch get a few I think this Jinbei could potentially be a good choice 
close up of his face, his scar, looks really good. Okay, his hair is also pretty well done. And um, next we have Robin. Oh, so Jimbei is also uh, slated to be coming out in September. Alright, and Robin, I love Robin. But this time around, she also just looks kind of just standing there, not doing much. Um, yeah, the main appeal, I guess, is just to complete the whole set. Because for me, if I'm just looking at this, I'd rather just get the P.O.P. Okay, uh, we have Frankie. This time around, with a smiley face and giving a thumbs up. You can see those uh, cannons coming out from his shoulders his body angle seems to be a little bit weird here um, like this part this ball whatever you call this like the shoulder joint the, <laughs> the cyborg shoulder joint is just put back a little bit too much for me seems a little weird um, and so so does the face looks a little bit too long back view and for this Frankie you're gonna get extra parts head and hands for Robin and we have seen previously in the very very first picture with all the figures that there are two Robins they are not when you buy Robin they're not gonna give you two Robin body parts main body okay so if you want to display her like this, you have to buy two Robin figures. <laughs> In case you guys didn't know about this, you have to buy two Robin figures and also the Frankie figure. So you get the extra head and uh, extra hand, I guess, or somewhere else, whatever it is. So, well, I, I think by now you can be pretty convinced at what they're trying to do here. Really wanting you to spend the money on the whole set. Also another smiley face for the chopper horn point that comes with this Frankie. And last but not least we have Brooke. So I like Brooke a lot and I actually think that this is actually really really cool because I think this is the first figure we actually see his soul um, you know, coming out of his body or rather any figure that shows his soul. So this is actually pretty pretty cool. Uh, that's why I say between him and Jinbei, I think they are the better ones out of this whole re -re this whole set of uh, Mugiwaras. Different angles. <laughs> really love Brooke and uh, this is really funny. If only this thing can glow in the dark, I think that would be pretty insane. Um, here we have uh, the close-up for Brooke. And here you can actually shift his glasses downwards. Pretty cool. Something to play with at least. So uh, this Brook figure actually comes with another Zoro smiling face. So you don't have him, um, you know, biting his, his sword. And also another Sanji face. Though I'm not sure what's the difference between this and the original one. I think just something to do with the mouth opening and closing can be... 100% sure and that's all I have for that's all to talk about for for this for this Migu Migu Mugiwara sorry <laughs> Mugiwara sets um, if I were to give a rating upon 5 I'll just give it a, a 2 I think it's low effort cash grab nothing really interesting I really don't think anyone should buy them at all really uh, just save your money for for, for interesting Presto figures or even for P.O.P's just Nothing really that appealing about this whole set, in my opinion. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. If you guys think that it's great, let me know and tell me why. Alright, but what's gonna come up next, it's, to me, Figura Zero FZ, one of the best figures to be released. The highlights of this video is gonna be on the badass figures of this white beard and ace. Just straight off the bat, um, wow, really, really cool dynamic combo figures, um, details, sculpt posing, looks really, really amazing, 
and obviously they're gonna come in two separate figures so we're gonna look at them individually first the first one is Ace and I just gotta say first impression from the top to bottom they have done a fantastic job uh, with the flames the poles uh, character likeness you know the dy dynamism of the figure even the base this time around is more interesting uh, with this you know rocks and stuff show like kind of like a scene I guess Let's just look at those flames uh, even different varying degrees of, of red orange whatever and its flames and I guess his main body is going to be supported by this main column of his flames really really cool and he really this face is I think is really on point and body wise is also pretty pretty uh, in terms of the pose I guess it's pretty well done too really amazing and in my opinion this is much better than <laughs> the uh, maximum ace that Mega House is coming out with if they have done this figure and blown it up to the maximum size I believe it will attract more buyers uh, main thing that I didn't like about the other Ace which I'm also, I'm also going to talk about in my POP video is the face doesn't look like Ace and his muscles also are too crazy too pronounced um, and the body twist for his you know his main body here is it's kind of too weird too unbelievable in a sense yeah but this really good close up uh, you can even see they gave him sort of like damages or wounds with these scratches on his body some wear and tear on his clothes shading over here and some of his hair just kind of flying up to give a little bit more uh, dynamism and also the flames right it's just kind of like follow this part of the flame just kind of go upwards to show movement of the character these are some real life photos um, you can see different angles that people took of Ace he really really looks impressive and I would just expect you know the downside for the price that he's gonna come uh, come with the price tag the size usually as we know figure zero are all slightly smaller than usual nice photos here just really really beautiful and if just he's gonna get ace I think he looks good on his own but with white beard together I think those two will be quite a combo it'll be quite a collection uh, collection piece to keep for some time alright more shots for you guys to take a look just wow okay and um, now we're gonna talk about white beard also honestly he looks pretty pretty amazing uh, I really like uh, this the smoke thing I, I believe these are smoke uh, also coming out from the bottom so it's kind of like dust or debris flying up so really like all this kind of you know effects effect access uh, scenery kind of effects thing that surrounds them makes them look more amazing this gives a little bit more extra and I was gonna say that it kind of reminds me of this Ichiban Kuji white beard that was released not too long ago almost in similar body angles just that the hands are doing different things yeah and um obviously I think size wise they might be quite similar because that Ichiban Koji white beard is also not too big but this figure zero might be higher in detail so this is a close-up uh, his face may actually look a little bit weird because of this part of his lower lip just kind of make its teeth split into half on both sides but uh, other than that if you look at um look at this his cape, this red part of scales looks insane with the colouring and uh, the sculpt, the carving into it as well as muscles and scars look really really terrific um, and also 
this part of his uh, his pants or the creases. And if I'm not wrong, this is the first time I see that his weapon. You can see this individual spiral threads going down. I think even for the POPs, it's just kind of straight, uh, a straight piece of rod. But this time around, they actually showed spirals. Not sure which one is accurate, but I think this is pretty interesting. Okay, and this are uh, real life shots of White Beard. Look terrific. Really digging this uh, smoke or whatever effects that is going up. And also, it forms part of the base. Uh, no more, no more ugly bases because why? Why do ugly bases when you can do bases like this, right? <laughs> right. This is him. Sculpt, post, everything is pretty good. My main complaint is just the face can look a little bit weird <laughs> with the lip too high up in a sense. That's what I saw. More shots of the smoke holding him up. The rocks even themselves look pretty well detailed. In a bottom part of his cape. Beautiful. And here we have a shot of both of them together. And you can see they are meant to be displayed together. And obviously they are not in terms of scale, they are not the most accurate because Ace is kind of very very small maybe half the size or one third or half the size of White Beard I can't remember exactly so this kind of it has, has Ace bigger than usual but if you are not uh, big on scale display, scale comparison these two guys will be amazing for you another shot with better lighting with flash Alright, so I think that's all I have guys for the figure at zero video. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, what do you think of this upcoming figures? Really want to hear your opinions. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, do give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. And stay tuned of course for my videos on POP and Vampire Steel figures. I'll see you guys very soon. Goodbye.